Right folks, just got off the bus back there, arrived in Crocombe, just after half nine-ish. Was here in August when I did the West Bagborough walk and I caught the bus here back to the railway station. Um, so we just got to walk through the village a little way and then I reckon my feet are going to get wet because basically I've got to go for a field and then this is a well trod path my feet are going to get wet today I think um, just going to have there's a lovely view look of the hills Will's neck right at the top there Right, just oh, turn in off a minute. Like the 7th of October 2023. It was our dad's birthday yesterday. He would have been 75 if he was still alive. And I'm going to be climbing up up there. I've just got to find the little path. When I came through the village in August, the path was quite hidden. Um, when I came along this road. I set out an hour earlier today. I could have come even earlier, but I thought no. It means getting up so early to do, and um, if you come, if you travel on the Saturday, you don't have to pay. You can travel earlier on the train without having to pay. Yeah, you can actually get your proper thirty percent and your pensioner thing. You know. Same with the buses, you don't have to, to pay. You can use your concessionary card. Now I've just got to look out for the... I think we're coming up to it now. It was... I don't know if anyone's cut about the... the, the yeah, it looks a little bit... Uh, less brambleized now. Yeah, look. See? Yeah, I think someone's pruned it a bit. I was here last. I'm just doing a little introduction of this part of the walk because <laughs> it's at the start of the walk that you can get lost. I think this is the one. I feel like it is. I had a robot in the garden that was on guard duty when I was here last. <laughs> So this is probably the worst part of the walk because I've got to go all uphill and I've got my rucksack's the heaviest uh, this time of the day because it's got the water in it, lots of water and food and stuff. It will get lighter. Yeah, so I wonder if the robot's here today. Uh, it whizzes around the garden since it spots you. You can see it's marks where it's going about. I maybe don't got it on today. Yeah, I can see where it's moving about. You can see the lines in, in the... Maybe they don't do it in the daytime. It's on patrol here usually. There it is. It hasn't spotted me, it's in its little garage, look. See in there? What would be a kennel? That's the guard. I spotted him last time. Lovely, isn't it? Don't know if he'll come to a life. A life. In theory, he isn't doing nothing, is he? 
it, 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 but it does because you can see the fresh lines in the grass. Anyway, like I say, it's all uphill for the next, say, hour. Look at that lovely oak tree, look. What a beautiful canopy. So there we are. No, he hasn't come out to greet me today. The um, motorised guard. Maybe someone else has already come by. But he has been out because there's fresh marks on the... They might have seen me and just not bothered to get him out. See the woods right up the top there? I've got to guess where I've got to get, right up there. It, doesn't, it looks quite flat, doesn't it? But uh, like I said, I've recorded this before. So I'm going to be turning off now. There's some mushrooms there, look. Or toadstools. So over and out for now, I'll, I'll come back on when I get a bit further up. <sighs> fresh cow. Not fresh, but not that old. Not that old at all. So cows have been in here. So I, I've just about... If I'd come, say, last week, they might have still been in here, right? And I think they probably were. That ain't that old, that cow pack. Look at that lovely tree. It's gorgeous. The hills over there in the mist. It's going to be a hot day. When I get to this gate, I'm going to take this top, this top top off. So it's going to get hot. Yeah, it's really gorgeous. So I can't see any cows, but that looks really. They could be further down in a field over there. They might still be here. They could be further down. See, they haven't worked their way up here yet. Right, turning off again, folks, for a minute. Right, there's quite a load of mushrooms or toadstools here. I've taken quite a few pictures. See them all there? They, they, when they first come up, they're closed tight. Then they spring open, and look, they spring open like a pancake. And um, I took one, one, there was one down the hill that hadn't opened up yet. It was still tight like a bullet. Like a large bullet. There she goes. She's disappeared. Oh, there she is up there. Now, here's a really good one. Look, look at this one. Massive. It's like a, a large breakfast plate, if you like, not a dinner plate. And uh, it was, like I said, might find another one that's not opened up yet. There's loads of them all, all the way along. Loads and loads and loads of them. But I think they're toadstools. I don't think you can eat them. You've got to be careful what you eat, see. Oh, here's some more little ones here. They're really, they're really pretty, aren't they? This isn't quite the same as the one down the hill, but very similar. Very similar. Mushroom Hill. Loads of them. Some more over there. Well, I've taken quite a few photos and um, Trying to get back on track now. There's another one there, look. Glistening in the autumn sun, glistening. I'm gonna stop and take a picture. The hilliest part of the walk is over. All right, so my road's right down there. So I walked through the village a bit till I came to the public footpath and then up. But I've zigzagged to take pictures of the mushroom, mushrooms, toadstools, whatever they are. 
there was one other person walking. This lovely, well this is an oak tree, it's got acorns on it, but that looks like an elm. Not sure. Look at his exposed roots. Anyway, like I said, the, there is still more hill, but that bit. There are Quantock Hills, so I'm going to be walking up through there. I can see the hills, they're not far away. Once you get up here, this is actually quicker really, if you don't do photographs like I do and video. This part, this walk is actually quicker than going to Bicknoller. Because in Bicknoller you've got to walk for a much further distance through the village. Then you've got to climb up Bicknoller Coombe or Hill. There's a pheasant there. You can't see it. It's a female, so they don't have any colour. So there we go, folks. There we go. We're up on the Quantocks now, folks. The Quantock Hills, which I love. Now, another thing I was saying to myself a minute ago, it's actually good that I've got it out here now because they keep, they keep talking about another COVID wave. And you know what that means, they shut public transport down. And they even shut you down if you, if you drive. You know, it's like big restrictions. God, I tell you what, that girl took her time going up the hill. But she's certainly disappeared now. She's gone. Young, say, young legs. Oh, yeah, she's certainly gone now. But she looked like she was taking her time. It was steep. Steep for anybody. So about a year or so ago, last year sometime actually, I did this walk for the very first time here. And, when the, and it's the same route I'm doing today. I'm not going to do Dowsborough Hill Fort or anything like that. I'm going to go up the top with views of different carns and stuff. And uh, then I'm going to... And you've got Hull's Way Post. Well, what I'm going to do is... Uh, because she's really short, off, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Hullsway Post. But I'm going to be turning, bending towards the right and heading for a higher hair nap. I don't know if I... Did I do higher hair nap or lower hair nap last year? I don't know. Oh, hazelnuts, is that good? Chestnuts, chestnuts. Under the spreading chestnut tree. Right, I'm going to turn off now, folks, while we make a nice steady walk along this little track. And then we'll emerge out on the hills. The only thing I forgot, but don't worry, I can make a improvisation. I didn't bring the hat. Okay, I thought about it, but I'm trying to cut down on weight because I've actually brought all my cameras today. Because I'll tell you why I've done that. The earlier trip in the year when I came out, I had a whole herd of deer pass almost right in front of me and do you know what it's weird isn't it my camera packed up I couldn't get a photo I couldn't get the video it wouldn't work and I didn't bring out a backup none of them 
didn't bring a backup out. So now I've brought it all out. This work, this needs charging very soon. Right, over and out for a minute.